Howdy. Today I'm doing calisthenics pull and legs. So a pull up progression and a squat progression. I forgot to record the first couple of warm up sets, but honestly, for the sake of a video, that's probably way better. So I'm going to do a couple more things to warm up and then pretty much be straight into my working sets. <laughs> Like I mentioned in my pushing core <clears throat> workout, I could pretty much do a couple sets and then dive straight into the workout. Especially when I'm outside in the sun, I'm just got all the stress hormones pumping through me. <clears throat> I think I should be ready to go in just a second. This will be like the last pull and leg workout where I'll just do as many chin-ups as I can do to failure and then follow it with uh, negative chin-ups. So that will probably last a while because <laughs> the sets last me like three minutes on average. probably use the back camera, but I'm using the front camera just so I can see myself. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I really want to beat last week's pull, uh, pull, uh, chin ups. Did almost five. Do five? I don't know if it'd be a good idea to do them like here. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys over here. Be doing them on a bar that I might be able to do them better on. <laughs> Five turn ups, I gotta get it. Or I gotta get close. I don't care how many negatives I do, I just wanna do five turn ups. <laughs> Did six. Almost seven. Ten for negative.
Lost a little bit of momentum in that second half. I might be coming up with my last one or two reps. <sighs> Oh shit. <laughs> well, I can confidently say I got stronger. <laughs> I didn't even do four. No, on my last pull workout, I didn't even do five chin ups. I almost did five chin ups. I was like. My head was just a little bit underneath the bar. <clears throat> that sounds lovely, doesn't it? But I, this time I did almost seven. So that's like a, what, a two rep increase. And then as for the negatives, I could care less how many negatives I did. I just, so glad I beat that fucking chin ups. <sighs> so. Next will be one leg squats. And as for squats, I don't have a clear marker of progression. Like, I'm just doing them right here as a step down. I'm doing a partial range of motion with no assistance to emphasize on the, uh, emphasize on the stability. Because those are my problematic areas. <clears throat> Like, my right leg is stronger than my left leg, so I might, like, go down farther. Or, like, I might do more. Or I'm trying to find the words for it. I think I'll be doing more range of motion on my right leg. I'll try to keep it as even as possible. But <clears throat> my, le they both, my left leg definitely needs work on the stability front. As well as on the knee front as well, because... There's one muscle in my quad that doesn't like to act. It's the teardrop muscle that doesn't like to activate in my left quad. When I catch my breath, I'm going to do a couple 
sets of some split squats and maybe some step ups, reverse step downs. Just get those muscles all activated. And they get some mobility unlocked because mobility, especially ankle mobility, which I also don't have in my left foot, it's very needed for <clears throat> one leg squats. Yeah, dude, those fucking chin ups kicked my ass. <clears throat> I just realized I forgot to upload the push and core workout, but it's okay. I'll upload that. Uh, I'll upload that today, along with this. There'll be two separate videos, but I will upload both of those because I need to start uploading my progress. <sighs> yeah, I, I noticed that this time compared to last time too, I felt my back a lot more because last time I wasn't. Uh, pinching my scapula to make sure that the back muscles worked and now like my left lat which is also weaker than my white than my right lat is feels activated now <clears throat> all right my, my breath is mostly back so I'm gonna do some split squats some like isometric split squats just to <sighs> warm the legs up yeah. Perfect. I didn't do any Tabor calf raises, but it's fine. I'd rather not wear myself out. funny because on my when I do my left side first that's where my like thigh and and like hips are weaker but I have more what's it called uh, hip flexor mobility on my right side but when I do it on my right side my ankle has more mobility but my hip flexors have, have less mobility on this side so it kind of like cancels it out and evens it out feel a lot better. I'm gonna do another one of those though just to ensure that I unlock all my mobility. Get all the muscles that I need activated. I always want to do it on my left side. Fuck it.
do some step downs and then move on to my working sets. I'm only going to be doing a couple working sets. I don't know. I might experiment a little bit because, yeah, no clear marker progression. There's no, like, I'm like at the gym where you can use plates or stackers and see how many, see how high you can go while going down and still touching the ground. Right here, I'm not touching the ground, so I could be going, I could be doing more, I could be doing more range of motion with one leg than the other without knowing it. So that's one shitty thing, but it's okay, because I'll be still working on both legs. Step down, or step down, but I actually don't need more. All right. I got my muscles are now active. I feel my that teardrop muscle. It's on like the inner, the innermost quad muscle. Definitely feels a lot more activated now. So, <sighs> sun's out. It's bright. So, in a couple seconds, once I get my breath back, I'll begin my working set. I'll begin instead of doing them up here where my feet won't touch the ground. I'll do them right here. See how low, let's see if I could go all the way down and still do like 10 to 15 reps. Cause that's just what I'm doing is any like 10 to 15 reps. I'll do, I'll start my weak leg, match it on the right. I'm trying to figure out where I can set my phone. I'll probably just set my phone where I normally set it. I have. Oh, wait, no, I'm just... Hey, I'm doing it right here. Yeah, this spot's a little weird. Yeah. This spot's a little weird. Is it better right there? No, not really, but... That's way better. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll just let my, myself catch my breath. <sighs> Continue on. Yeah, again, I'll just see if I can do 10 to 15 reps right here. If not, I'll stay here. So if I can do 10 to 15 reps, on the next one I can set, I'll move up here to this pad. Realized this side shorter. Okay, I'm not doing <laughs> not doing that stuff.
I'm good to go. Yeah, next set, moving up. Well, yeah, it's way easier on the right leg. Right? Oh, dude, my legs always feel so supreme after doing that. <sighs> yeah, I'm moving up on the next set. <laughs> Despite the calisthenics, it's not exactly the, or at least on media, calisthenics isn't generally the best for legs. Although there are exercises that are phenomenal for legs. Those one leg squats, the way they make my hips and knees feel, the way they make my lower back feel. So incredible. Like I'm walking right now, my I can feel every muscle in my quad activating. My stability or my stabilizer is activating. There's no unevenness. <laughs> or there's a little bit of unevenness because right leg still is stronger, but <clears throat> oh wow, well, I am scouting the park right now for different Spots to do one leg squats. Looks like there's more spots than where I was using that I could hopefully use as a clear marker for progression for my squats. Right here. I'm gonna do this right here on this set. I might not even get 15 reps in this spot that I found. Camera set up for that. It'll take some time to rest, but yeah, I'll do them right here at the end. I can need to adjust this.
not really talking much, I just noticed. But it's probably because I'm fatigued enough to where, like, I don't have that much care about talking and whatnot. I'm gonna need to come to the park and do one leg squats on all the areas where it looks like I can do one leg squats just so I can see what I can progress to and whatnot. Again, I think a gym with plates or little like stackers can be easier, but I'm not paying for a gym membership for now, so screw that. Bit of a slant. A little awkward. Probably the most even in the middle. That's the lowest up here. I need to stop fighting. This is. Thirteen on the right leg. <laughs> Again, this is fucking awkward because it's not a slant. Maybe that's why I didn't get all the reps. Use the balance. That concludes Calcinex pull and leg day. Now I'm gonna go home and eat and do whatever I'm gonna do for the day. So yeah, see y'all later.